Michael, welcome to uh, Lauren Football Club. It's great to have you here. Um, can you tell us what's what's brought you to the club? What's attracted you here? I think it's no secret what Lauren are uh, trying to do and doing at the minute in Irish League football. It's exciting times for Irish League football and for Lauren itself. So um, I've been very privileged to be part of the process in some respect where I've been working with Tierno and Seamus um, for a year and a half now. So I've seen everything that's going on and all the plans have been putting in place. and. Um, you know, once they approached me about about actually coming to the club myself, it was a it was a no brainer for me. Sure. And you bring a, a wealth of experience with you in terms of playing and, and coaching as well. That's that's something you you're looking forward to bringing to the party, I presume. Yeah, I mean, part of the the reason for me moving on from Crusaders after a fantastic two years was the the desire to keep playing. Um, obviously, my future will be you know as a full time coach. Um, I had envisaged that that might have been sooner rather than, rather than later. Um, but to be honest, last year Crusaders, when I didn't play as much as the year before, um, I did come to realise that I did have quite a bit more to offer as a player, um, and I've seen an opportunity here to come in and work with with Connor Devlin and um, the amount of games that we'll have. I mean, this year there'll be opportunities for for me to get games and still show people what I, you know, very much capable of doing. Um, on the other side of that, as a coach, um, I do it full time. I do it all day, every day. I'm very passionate about it. Um, you know, Connor's a, a fantastic young keeper, he's at a good age. Um, and I think if any club in the Irish League had a, a motivated and fit and sharp Connor Devlin in their team, um, they won't be far away. So my job in that respect is to get Connor back to the form that he was in, you know, in his Cliftonville days when they were successful there. And I don't think we're far away from that. In terms of the squad uh, overall that uh, T Tiernan's building here, it's, it's exciting times, presumably. Yeah, it's, you know, you see what Crusader's done, you know, as a part of that. and. Um, very similar idea what Tiernan's trying to do, he's trying to bring a mix of you know, youth and, and quality youth in that, um, and experience in, people that have been there and done it, uh, people that are winners. Um, I think more importantly they, they want to be, be winners and want to bring that to Lauren. Um, so again when Tiernan spoke to me about this, it was, you know, I spoke to several other clubs as well, but the, the vision that Tiernan and the staff have and obviously Kenny and, and, and the club itself as a whole in the town, it's, you know, it's, it's very, very exciting to be part of. Uh, and you're no stranger to the championship with your time at the Welders. Do you think that'll be key? You know, to be some players who come in who who might not have that experience of going to some of those places and some of those games. You, you hope that'll um, stand you in good stead as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, all the all the grounds inside out. You know, you know the managers, the players, and um, it's like anyone. You know, we've got quite a few players coming into the, the squad and the team who aren't that familiar with with the Irish League in general, and and also with the teams and the, the grounds are going to be playing at. So. You know, on one hand as a player, on the other hand as a coach, hopefully I'll have a lot uh, of input. You know, in, in that respect. Um, you know how much how much it's going to play is, is we, we don't know yet. But um, you know, as you say, I've loads of experience in the championship and I've been there and done it at that level. You know, many a time with the Welders, so I'm really looking forward to it and trying to get us out back in the Premier League. Yeah, it's no secret that the ambition is to, to get promoted and, and certainly the, the aim is to get promoted this season. So there's a pressure that comes with that, but you've had that um, during your, your career as well. Yeah, I think if you didn't have pressure um, and you didn't have a willingness to win and succeed and win leagues and win trophies, then why are you still playing? Um, and again, going back to myself, it's a big, big reason why I want to, to continue to, to play because um, I want to be successful. And there's no doubt when I do make the, the move into full-time coach, you can be part of that and I've been that with Northern Ireland international squads and youth development squads and things like that but nothing beats winning as a player so I mean you see the change room we have here and I think everyone's you know well aware of that and they're hungry and they, they want success and I think the league title has to be the priority. Uh, you're looking forward to uh, the action getting underway pre-season and then the, the season for real? Yeah like any season you know you're coming to the end of the season you can't wait for a break and two three days later you're thinking what are we going to do so um, the good thing is we're in quite early, I think it's 1st of June we're back in, so um, we won't have long to wait for that to come around and obviously the, the pre-season campaign kicks off and the, and the business end itself. Okay, Michael, thank you. Pleasure, thank you.